Hello everyone and welcome to another Maiden Circle Tarot reading. I am Morgana Brin, High Priestess of Maiden Circle Coven, and this is your daily reading for Wednesday, June 13th, 2018. I just want to say thank you for joining me here today and being with us. And I also want to say thank you to all those out there that are guiding these cards and bringing these messages to us. So let's get started. This is again your reading for Wednesday, June 13th, 2018. Then I'm going to use the Sacred Rebel Oracle to read the energy of the day. So this is the overall energy of this day. What is the overall energy of this day? Wednesday, June 13th, 2018. We have shock of the new, okay? So something new is coming into your life. Something possibly unexpected or definitely unexpected shock of the new. Um, that may bring you inspiration. It might, you know, bring some new big things into your life to help to help make changes for you, okay? So let's see what your personal energy is for this day. So this is the energy that is, you know, surrounding you on a more intimate level. It might represent the potential that this day holds or that it offers for you. It might also represent something to attain, I mean, to, to kind of go after, you know, something for you to aspire to, right? So what is our personal energy, our most intimate personal energy for this day, Wednesday, June 13th, 2018? Please. We have the Two of Pentacles. This is bringing options to you, quite possibly good options. So whatever it is that's new, you might have to choose between these two things. You may not. You may be able to handle both of them, okay? He's kind of juggling this. Um, but this card does typically represent, twos typically represent making choices and having options. Um, but this is like a positive for you, okay? So let's see what what your physical challenge is for this day. What is our physical challenge for this day? This is our jobs, our projects, our bodies, what we do, how we do what we do. All right? So this is our physical plane. What is our challenge on the physical plane? So you have the magician. So with the magician in this position, I think it's important to be aware of how you're using your power and how someone else might be using their power over you or in your life, okay? Um, whatever this newness is that might be coming in, it might be an awareness of this, or it might be a new, you know, might, you might get a promotion and find that you're the boss of all your friends, or you might be given a certain type level of responsibility that you didn't have before, okay? You have to be careful not to abuse that responsibility and not to abuse that power. So definitely be careful of the urge to to control everything today. Um, not everything has to be in your control, but this is saying that right now you just kind of want to control the way things happen and you want to control the way other people do things. Or alternatively, someone is trying to exercise that control over you and you're not 
feeling it. You're not really into it right now. So let's see how we can overcome this. How can we overcome this control imbalance? How can we overcome this erroneous use of power? You have temperance. And the page of pentacles. So yeah, this I think requires putting um putting your your thoughts, your emotions into action and either taking charge if someone's trying to take charge of you or allowing yourself um or allowing someone else to have some say in what's happening and relaxing your control okay but i do think that this is actually probably more about someone trying to exert control over you and this is about you coming into that power and standing up for yourself okay be careful that you don't that you don't brag that if you are in a position of power um you're not you're not shoving it in people's faces however if again this is how i feel that someone is trying to lord their power over you um or manipulate you in some way you can you have the you have everything that you need to put that put your um desires into action to prove yourself to this person and prove that you deserve more respect and that you deserve to be treated better um and that you have skills okay you have value you are important and how you feel is important and it's important for you to recognize that right if someone's trying to force their will on you you it's time for you to stand up for yourself and it's time for you to recognize your own val your own value okay your own capabilities your own abilities let's see what your emotional challenge is so this challenge is on the emotional, spiritual, mental level. This could be how you're feeling about this problem, how you're, what you're thinking about this problem. Um, you know, the energy sitting in your soul right now, okay? Your philosophies on this problem, your feelings, your ideas, your plans, all that stuff. So what is our challenge today? Wednesday, June 13th, 2018. So the Four of Coins. So right now your mind is on kind of material gain. Alright, you just, you want it all. And again, if this is why you're in a position of power, because you've worked towards having it all, um, this being in your challenge position is saying that that's not the right mindset for you right now. If this is a new job or new money or new options for how to use um, whatever is coming into your life, new choices for you, and you're in a new position of power or you are someone else is in a new position of power that they are not using properly for you right your mindset is also at this point where you're trying to get more and more and more um unfortunately what happens is when we're so focused on trying to get more and more quite often that means we're actually focused on how much we don't have okay and it makes this it makes everything a lot harder but at the moment you are kind of in this place of of desire of almost of greed of seeing nothing but but your castle right um and what you want to build but not necessarily you're not necessarily thinking about any anything that you can offer you're at this moment thinking just about gimme 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 okay so let's see how we can overcome this particular mindset how can we overcome this challenge today please To the Ten of Swords, 
and the Page of Cups. This is saying that there's still some hard work ahead of you, okay? Um, you're supported. The, the world is watching you, okay? The universe, um, whatever your deity is, goddess, is watching you. And she's, she's supporting you, even though she may not be currently participating, she may just be spectating. But you still have work to do, and you've already done a lot. And you might, you might be at this moment putting your focus in the wrong spot, okay? So it might be a little hard for you to overcome this because you did work hard to get here, okay? You, you worked hard to get here already. But I think if you got a little bit more in touch with, um, with your, your human side, your sensitivity, with your emotions, um, with what is, what messages are coming from your heart, and you might have a better time making whatever choices you have to make and, and using, wielding whatever power that you have properly, okay? Um, at this moment, like I said, you have this greedy mindset, and if this is representing you, which typically it is, you are in a new place of power, you're in a new place of responsibility. There's something, um, something that you're doing that is, that is getting a ball rolling, okay? And you, you do need to, either way, you need to stand up for yourself and you need to translate what's inside of you, okay? You need to, to work towards your passion, all right? You're at this moment working towards building castles, building foundations, and maybe even kind of stuck on practicality. And it's possible that because of whatever this new situation is for you, this new place of control, um, you think, you're thinking that, okay, this is right and this is, this is the direction I need to go. But don't forget, don't forget what you desire. Don't forget what's in your heart and don't forget how much, of, how much value you, you hold. Okay. Let's see what the end of day energy is for this, this particular reading. So we have the Five of Cups. And the Four of Wands. So whatever new that's coming to you, it's important for you to try to find some stability by the end of this day. You might feel like you've given up something, whether it was some power or even um, some money or something, or just the plan to get more money, okay? But you haven't lost everything. There's still, there's still some support for you. There's emotional support. There's love underneath you, your practical mindset, okay? Underneath whatever new thing has happened and whatever changes may have happened on this day, all right? Find some stability. Find some, some way to, to make sure you enjoy it, to make sure you are in a safe space by the end of the day, okay? You might feel emotionally vulnerable because of whatever this new thing is in your life. Something new has come for you, and it may be a message, it may be a promotion, it may be someone telling you about how they feel about whatever you're doing or about you or about something that's important to you, okay? And you, at the moment, are kind of thinking a lot just about yourself, about um, what you can get out of this situation and less about what you, what you genuinely have to offer, which is a lot. You do have a lot to offer, okay? And maybe it will require a mindset switch instead of thinking, me, 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 maybe you're ready to change your mindset and think, what can I offer? 
what can I do that can kind of make the world a more more joyful and loving place? What do I have to give away? What do I have to give up? Okay? And don't don't try not to focus on what you have to give up. Instead, focus on what you have, what you have left and what you have to offer and what you what you still have to offer and um what matters to you on an emotional level. Okay? Listen to that inner voice that you have telling you that you can succeed, that you can do anything, okay? And that is your reading for Wednesday, June 13th, 2018. Thank you so much for joining me. I do hope that you have a beautiful and lovely day. If you're interested in more from us, check the links below. And remember always that I love you. Bye.